Hi everyone, welcome to Narasia Technologies. This is Srinivas. So in this video, so I am going to explain how to create multi-dimensional array in a NumPy and how the memory will be allocated in a multi-dimensional array. So multi-dimensional means what? More than one dimension is called multi-dimension. More than one dimension is called multi-dimension. Here, first of all, how the memory will be allocated for multi-dimensional array? How the memory will be allocated for multi-dimensional array? Here, first we are constructing one multi-dimensional array. Whenever we are constructing, we know that we need to specify the shape. Shape of the array we need to specify. As we know that here we are representing using using a tuple is like in a parenthesis we need to specify suppose here it is two dimensional means what is a two rows and two columns is a three dimensional means what here it is we are writing once again one more element like this it is what three dimension the second one is representing the two dimensional array and here it is which is index of the two dimensional array like total how many elements we can store 2 into 2 into 2 total 8 elements we can store and how the memory will be allocated for this one right here here it is a first two for first two one so one block will be created with the size is a 2 with the size is 2 and with the index is what 0 0 and 1 0 and 1. Suppose that array, here it is pointing to that array, just array is pointing to this one, is pointing to this one. This is for first 2 and next here it is a 2 by 2, it is nothing but here it is a 2 dimensional array will be created 2 by 2 from the first location which is connected, from the first location using one address of course base address will store id. And here it is a one more memory location will be created. One more memory location. This is the second one. And for this one also index is present. It is connected from the second location. Here it is a index is 0 and 1. And here it is a index. Vertically is also index is there for two dimensional array. Rows and columns. Here it is also same one. 0 and 1. 0 and 1 and here it is a horizontally 0 and 1 horizontally 0 and 1 this is so total how many locations are present here the data will store in these locations only these locations here that memory locations memory addresses of this array and this array will store like simply to say that pointers total 8 locations here, what are the locations means? See here index is 0 and here it is a 0, 0 intersection point. Next one is here it is a 0, 1, 0, 1. So, this is. So, here it is a locations. If you check, this is 0, 0 location is a 0, 1 location and here it is a 1, 0 location, 1, 1 location. So, from 0, 0, 0, 0, this is the first location. So, these are the locations 0, 0, 0. Next one is a 0, 0, 1. And next one is a 0, 1, 0. And next one 0, 1, 1. This is for first 4. Next second 4, 1, 0, 0. Like 1, 0, 1, like this. Here it is a second 4. 1, double 0. 1, 0, 1. 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 1. Total 8 locations into 8 locations. We can store 8 elements by reading or we can construct directly from the predefined list or some other collection type. Other collection type. Here, for example, I am changing the shape now. I am changing the shape. For example, here it is a 2 comma 3 comma 3, 3 by 3. It is the same how the memory will be allocated. So, first is a 2 locations only. Is a 2 locations only. And next here it is a 3 by 3, 3 by 3 memory will be allocated, nothing but here it is a 2 rows, 
I mean total three rows and three columns. Here it is a three by three, three rows, and here it is a three columns, and it is connected from the first location, first location, and here it is a one more three by three, one more three by three, this one. Here it is a three, and it is connected from this one, this one. So total how many locations means what here? 9 plus 9 total 18. Here it is a 2 into 3, 6. 6 into 3 is a 18. 18 elements we can store. For example, here sir, in place of a 2, suppose if I am using 3. If I am using 3. So then one more block gets created. One more block. Here it is for, for third one. For this one, third one, which is connecting from here from the third location and here it is again 3 by 3 is a 3 by 3. So total 9 plus 9 plus 9 here it is a 27 elements we can store into this one. So we need to specify clearly right the three dimension means what is the first array size and next one from each array is other is a nothing but here it is a 2 by 2 array or 3 by 3 array. 2 by 3 array, like a 3 by 2 array, whatever the size, how many number of rows and how many number of columns you have to specify. This is how the memory will be allocated for multi-dimensional array. Either you can read the elements directly, I mean you can construct that array with the values by assigning values directly or you can read in any way, we can process the elements of multi-dimensional arrays how to construct that array, how to read elements, how to display elements, right? All these things we will see in the next video. Hope you understood. For more videos, please subscribe to Narishati channel. Thank you.